another success story. And uh, there's a, a student who came to my school to take her SATs. She wasn't a student there, but she was assigned to our, our location to take her SATs. And she walked the halls and she looked around and she saw this beautiful artwork on the walls and said, I think I want to go to school here. And so she applied all by herself. She got in and the day that she found out she got in, she said she packed up her stuff at her old school and told her mother, come and get me. I got into the Charter High School for Architecture and Design. That's where I'm going to go to school. And so she transferred and it was her senior year, which is a really difficult time to do a transfer in high school. But she transferred um, and she was actually in the mentoring program that I was running there at the time and was interested in photography. And so I hooked her up with some photographers in the area and it gave her some opportunities to really see what photo professional photographers did. And literally two weeks ago, she came back to visit me and she is out of college. She is a photographer. She has her own studio in Northern Virginia and she takes the most impressive photos I have ever seen. And I'm thrilled for her. In fact, she will be back to visit next week to address a group of students and talk about what she does and how she got there and the impact that our school had on her life. Our most recent success story at the Charter High School for Architecture and Design is a student who um, graduated, actually um, was a senior my first year there, so he graduated in the class of 2005 um, and went off to design school, architecture school actually, in California. And um, we just learned that he has been accepted to the graduate program at Harvard. And we are, of course, over the moon thrilled um, and excited. And I think what, what students, um, and especially little girls, can learn from that, because uh, it, it's a really, it's more of a story about perseverance. Um, this student came to school every day under difficult circumstances during high school. Um, found an interest in architecture and got some exposure to it, um, decided, hey, I, I, I have an interest in this and I want to learn more about it. And so he took every opportunity that was out there to learn more about it. He um, was offered an internship while he was in high school, chose it as a major in college, and, um, and we're just thrilled that, um, and he is our first student to ever um, be accepted to Harvard and, and we're just thrilled for him. And it's really because of his hard work, um, his dedication to what he chose. And, um, and actually I admire him most for um, investigating um, when he was so young, um, the options that were out there and what he decided that he wanted to, to choose and, um, and then followed it and followed it through. There's a, a, another, a, another student um, who transferred to um, our school, I, I believe maybe in 10th grade. And he played football at his old high school, and we don't have a football team. And so while some of his best friends on the football team were playing football, he's learning about architecture. Well, it turns out that he figured out that he could design football stadiums, and he couldn't play football anymore, but he got an internship at an architecture firm that does sports facilities and now has this real interest. He's in college now, he's at Penn State University and um, wants to design football stadiums. So he's still getting that exposure to football, which is really in his heart and what he loves, but he's not playing, he's designing the stadiums. So I always think that's a great story and I, I love that he's doing that.